The Andrews government has been labelled gutless and pathetic by a jewellery store owner who's been twice targeted by an African crime gang. He says it's only a matter of time before an innocent employee or a bystander is seriously hurt by the out-of-control teenagers. The government and police are being warned the worst is yet to come in the wave of violent jewellery store robberies. Dennis Kellaway knows better than most. His Turak store has been hit twice in three months. He's demanding a response from the state government. They firstly aren't recognising that uh, we have an African crime problem in Melbourne, a very serious African crime problem. He fears for the safety of his staff unless politicians change the law to ensure armed offenders get more jail time and fewer community corrections orders. It's just going to get worse and people will get hurt. And it's their job, it's their responsibility to actually protect the citizens and they're not doing their job, they're gutless. After three jewellery store robberies so far this year, the industry is organising a crisis summit. The state government has yet to commit to attend any such summit over the robberies. They believe new laws they have in the pipeline, including one targeting adults who get kids to commit crimes, should help deal with the problem. Victoria Police has launched a new task force dedicated to jewellery store robberies. They already have eight cases to investigate. We are doing every single thing we can to apprehend them, to bring them before the court, at the same time work with the community and industry to actually prevent further offending. So far no one's been arrested over the most recent robbery in Turak. Cameron Bow, 7 News. A man has had a handgun held to his head during a terrifying home invasion at Hampton Park. Five men pushed their way into the property, forcing the victim to sit in a chair. They ransacked the house, stealing his wallet and mobile phone and alcohol before fleeing. I'm just thinking, am I going to be shot here? Am I going to actually die tonight? Um, and yeah, I was just doing everything they said, um, just hoping for them to leave. The 34-year-old says he's now too scared to live in his own home.